Today I'm doing a video on Windows 98. First I'm going to install the system, then I'm going to try and use it you know, as an everyday operating system to see if it's still possible to do so. And then I'm going to install some stuff I found on this awesome forum I found last night called MSFN. They have a Windows 98 board and they're still developing new software for it. I think it's brilliant. So first let's get it installed. I haven't done this for many years. I didn't choose start setup because I haven't formatted my drive yet. Uh, simple enough. Um, we'll let that run. I'll pause the video. Right, it's done now, but it wants me to restart the system. So I better do that. Now it's rebooting. Now I've created the partition table with FDisk, I've now got to format the drive. And on Windows 98 I believe it's in the CD-ROM, so let's see. Oops. Yep. That's probably going to take a few minutes, so I'll pause the video. Right, it's almost finished. What I'm going to do is I'm going to install the, well I say install, I'm going to copy the cabs over from the CD to the hard drive, which will make it easier you know, later on. I won't have to keep inserting the disk every time I'm adding something to the system. Right, we've done that. Now I'm going to copy this stuff from the disk onto the hard drive. I'll pause the video again because this is going to take a few minutes probably. It's finished copying and I'm now, I've now removed the disk. So now all we have to do is run setup.exe from C Windows Options Caps. And it does a check disk first. Yeah, that brings back some memories, doesn't it? Okay, we're now in the installer, so let's install the system. Things have really changed, but well, I say they've changed. Windows NT setup routine has always been the same, so remember this is Windows 9X, so it's different. Um, I'm going to choose other directory, that's because I've created C Windows already, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to choose custom. I don't need any of that. I don't need that. Oh yeah, I don't need Outlook Express anyway. Or that. Or them. Or that. Look at that. 249 megabyte install size. Imagine if things were that small now. We might as well brand it for the sake of it. Oh, come on, I'm not in the States. Oh, I have a floppy disk get drive on this computer. Let's just... Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, it shouldn't take too long on this system, but I'll pause the video anyway because it's boring to watch the progress bar. It took about three minutes to install. It's amazing how, how fast this runs on modern hardware. And this is a virtual machine as well, so it just shows you, doesn't it? Right, it's now going to finish installing. Huh. 
<laughs> 18 minutes, 16 minutes. I should think it's going to be a lot quicker than that. That's optimistic, isn't it? To be honest, I put the system in English UK. I thought it might have automatically detected this, but oh well. It is like 10 years old, I suppose. Why did they get rid of that? They should have kept that in in Vista and XP in 7. Because that, that's quite good. <laughs> I like the old logo. No fonts moving either. <laughs> I'll pause the video. It's installed now. In the next video I'll install the drivers, update the system and we can actually start using it.